Time to play with some clay. Well, I've still got the skin infection. I'm getting better. It doesn't hurt anymore, and it doesn't itch as much as it has. Um, what I'm going to be doing is... I've been uh, looking at reference material, and I'm sorry, I, I put the camera on my head. I'm just trying it out to see how that works. Um, this is the old bronze that I had done, and this is, this goes clear back to the 1980s, probably, uh, when I did this piece. It was called The High Lonesome, and I love that title, and I might use it again. I got this photo from a video on, uh, a movie, and, uh, it was a screen capture, and I liked it. It, 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 there were some people on a raft going down a raft river and these guys were standing up on the bluff above them and this guy was standing there pretty much like uh, my guy here and I kind of wanted to keep that but then I saw, was watching a movie called uh, let's see if I can get the light off of it ah Okay, yeah, that works. I got a, I was watching a movie last night called Revolution. It was made in 1985 with Al Pacino, and it, it had to do with the uh, American Revolution. And this was the final scene at Yorktown after the battle and after they had won. And all the uh, revolutionary, I mean, the uh, Americans were standing on the ramparts and this guy was standing there with his rifle over his shoulder like that, and I like that pose, but I also like this one too because it's relaxed and uh, like he's worn out. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to just work on that and uh, see what happens. Put these back up here. Uh, I've got a board to, to put this armature on, and I've got to figure out how I'm going to attach it. I'm going to make a reservoir, reservoir, reservoir of uh, foam. You know, I got to still find my foam. I don't know where I've got it hidden around here. Anyway, um, but anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to attach it, and uh, I'm going to have to use some wire to attach it to the uh, board. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry, I apologize for the disease on my arm. It's not a disease, it's just a pain in the wazoo is what it is. I've got to work out the design of his pose in the armature. And again, this armature is one that I got from Sculpture Depot. It's a, uh, let me measure it. If I can find my measuring tape. There we go. It measures uh, 12 inches, but that doesn't include uh, the bottom of his foot, which would be about there. So about 11 inches. And uh, I'm going to drill a couple of holes in uh, the board here. 
Well, I tell you, it doesn't take long to get a bunch of crap in the way. I got my... Whoop! I got my, uh, drill bits. I gotta find one that matches the diameter, there we go, of the wire. wearing my shorts today because <laughs> it's not cold in my studio. I've got a good heating system and uh, keeps it at a pleasant temperature in here. Now I'm going to just drill a couple of random holes because uh, wire's got to come out of the uh, foam, or through the foam, and I want to be able to, to attach the figure to the base, and move some of the crap out of the way. Okay. I want to show you something that somebody sent me, and I'll do that in a second here. I'm just going to attach uh, the uh, wires to the board first. Put a couple screws down in here, just right next to the hole, or in the hole. And that will hold the uh, wire in place. So what we'll be pulling out. There we go. All right. Always put your tools back, or you got them. I like this Irwin set because you don't have to try to fit the damn thing into the two holes and force it down. You just put it down in the bottom hole and then press it in and it locks it in, which is really something you can do with one hand, which makes it handy. All right, I'm gonna show you something. Somebody sent me, because I was working on the uh, texturing. Ooh, I better watch that. Uh, of the uh, robe or the blanket that the Indian woman uh, wore in uh, uh, Real Wealth. And the guy's name is Dan John Shore. I don't know where he lives, but uh, I think he lives in Las Vegas. But No, no, that's where these came from, is Las Vegas. I don't know where he lives. But uh, he sent me these to give me tools for making texture, which I really do love. Ooh, that's got a nice end on it. And uh, a bunch of brushes for... You know, spreading the, uh, the, uh, lighter fluid, which is Ronsonol, over the clay to make it, uh, blend and soften and smooth. I'll put these aside because I won't need these right now. So I'll put these underneath here. And, uh, I'm going to cut, if I can find my scissors. Hmm. Oh, there they are. I never look on the board that I got for storing all this stuff. I always look down at the table. 
comes from years of not having some place to hang them. I like the handle on this. It's really kind of cool. It's got a nice little rubber thingy there. It's called OXO uh, Good Grip Deep Clean Brush Set. But I'm always using things that have another purpose for them. And I repurpose it for sculpting. That's got a nice end on the tool. It's a latex tip, which is really kind of nice, and it's got this small little brush. And this, you know, I was having trouble getting into tight areas, and this set right here is going to be very handy. So I'm going to put that into my tool thing. And then, uh, well, these are some steel brushes here. Otis uh, Smart uh, Gun Care. Hmm. Now, I don't have any guns, so. But it, it's still a good texturing tool. And you never know when you're going to need stuff like this, so it's nice to have all purpose brushes. But uh, it's got a different shape, and, and it's like it's metal. No, that's not metal. That's that's uh, plastic teeth. But it's got a nice little groove in it, which might come in handy. These are all uh, bristles, like well, stiff bristles, plastic bristles. Interesting. And I think this one's metal here copper it looks like so thank you uh, John for sending those I'm going to use them at some point not today but at some point all right I'm going to go up and check the video on this camera and see how it looks and if it's too movement wise it's uh, I mean if I have it moving too much then it might be uh, make people sick so I, I gotta check and make sure it's gonna work okay then I'll come back down and either work with my old camera my uh, Canon which is here I've got two of these they're great cameras it's a it's a uh, Canon uh, SX 30 IS and I got two of them it, it, It'll shoot 1080, but it won't go any higher than that. It's it's an old camera. I've been using it since, you know, 2010. I had to replace one of them because one of my cameras uh, died on me. All right. I'm going to take, take you upstairs. You now, this is my studio, and uh, let me explain something. My studio is set up... Here, I gotta just make sure I'm seeing everything. My studio is set up here at the this end of this area here. This is this is a garage. There's a two-car garage in this house. Uh, the landlord sealed off this door, and uh, there was a taxidermist working in here before I moved in, and he used this area. To, to uh, do his taxidermy. But anyway, um, I set up my studio here, as you can see. And uh, now on the other end here, it's an L-shaped garage, two-car two garage. Uh, the uh, 
garage door is there for the uh, it's an automatic door which works sometimes and doesn't other times I've got to move all this stuff out of here uh, into my storage unit I've been going through these boxes and uh, trying to get everything thrown away I don't need and keep stuff I do need um, this door goes out to the outdoors and I got deer walking around here he's looking at me well we can hear him kind of squealing oh there she is anyway I got my saw here and uh, it's really nice today it's almost 60 degrees and uh, a little breezy I love my neighbors, my my dear. That's an apartment. There are two people that live in uh, two separate apartments there. And uh, I'll come back in here. That up there is my heater for this garage. One of the reasons I want to start pulling my van in. And it's loud when it kicks in, and you'll hear it probably in some of my videos in the future. The sun comes broiling into the side windows here because they face uh, south. So I can't sculpt in here until about uh, sometime in the mid-afternoon, which cuts down on the time I can actually sculpt here. This is a pig that I bought in Tahoe. I love this thing. It's just a you know, canvas cover, covered, uh, I don't know what that is, but uh, it, I love it. I got my maquettes up there. I got uh, some uh, light bulbs there. I've got all this stuff here. This is another, another maquette that I've got of a horse. These are some of the clays that I've been working on and off and on. And I've got to get these off of here and underneath this table here so I can bring the clays I've got in the local gallery here and set them up on this table. This is a sculpture I did of uh, Sacagawea or Sacagawea. Uh, I did it a long time ago, probably well, close to 10 years ago, I think. I don't remember. And uh, this is uh, what I have left of a life-size cowboy I did, and that's his head. He stood about six foot three, and that's all that's left of it. Uh, these are the ghost dance piece, a sketch I made, and uh, a couple of Indians posing for an, a photograph, a Viking, and a horse head. Now, I did the uh, Viking uh, as an uh, instructional DVD, and I did the horse head as an instructional DVD also. So you might want to check those out in the... Uh, link below this video in my video description this is my police scanner <laughs> i very seldom listen to it but when i hear sirens i turn it on these are my books um, I have all kinds of books on uh, uh, sculpting and history and native americans and cowboys and the subjects that i usually work with and this, this is another set of books here uh, my couch which nobody's going to be able to sit on for a while uh, and this here is a platform that I built for a life-size sculpture I worked on it makes a perfect step because the step coming in from the main house into the garage has about a one foot drop and let me tell you that can, that's uh, dangerous, so I put this step in here, this box in here, to take the place of a step, and that works fine. This is my um, entryway to my house, and I'll show you what it looks like outside the front. I'm set off the main uh, neighborhood road over here. There's a fountain over here with uh, uh, cattails and stuff like that. Kind of a neat little thing, and it's got a kind of a little Japanese uh, 
bridge that goes across a little narrow area to an island where some seats are. The uh, landlord has really paid attention to the comfort of his uh, rentors. And uh, I love this area. It's quiet and it's set back off the main road. This is my bathroom, which I have to walk down to to use. But it's getting me in shape because uh, the house I had before uh, had no steps. Now it's straight from my car into my house. And you get out of shape after a while by not having to climb steps, and it's kind of like a stair size. What was that exercise stairs that you can buy anyway? And this is my messy bed. Uh, that's the back porch. Let me show you that. The uh, landlord is. We had some wasps coming into my house through a hole in the ceiling up there. They had literally eaten the plaster on that ceiling. And uh, there was a tiny little hole and they were popping through there. And I was killing something like 20 wasps a day for about almost a month. And uh, he has some guys coming in. and They've been coming in for the last week every day to uh, plaster uh, the patch they had to put up there and paint it and so everything's been moved around and the ladder's still there so they can work they still got to come in and do a couple more things on that ceiling this is my back porch and uh, a great view of the mountains out here and i can sit here and relax and uh not so much in the winter time. There's a plowed field way over there and a three car garage there. And that's Lone Mountain. I, when I first moved here, I lived up at the foot of that mountain and uh, all by myself out there on the, the prairie, the foothills of that uh, beautiful mountain. Uh, Lone Mountain has a ski resort, which is on the other side of that mountain. That's the uh, kitchen area up there with a washer and dryer, and I love it. It's got a gas stove, and I love that. I've never had one before, so it's a new experience. It's not a very big kitchen, but I've uh, still got a lot of stuff to move around here yet. I, I just moved in here a couple months ago, and I just haven't had the time to do it. These are my spices. I like cooking, and so I've got uh, lots of spices, and I built this uh, shelf to hang from uh, the, the uh, cabinet here, which is my closet, and uh, my pans down here. These I, I bought some really expensive pans because I don't want to buy cheap ones that uh, don't do you much good, and that's a steel pan. And let me tell you, that... that Damn thing was expensive. So was he, were these uh, two here. But uh, I got a lot of information from the cooking channel on <laughs> the pants. I got uh, my Ninja Foodie, which I love. It does everything. I, and I just recently got... Whoop. Yes, Steve? Yeah. All right, just give me a call when you get about to the grocery store. All right, bye. That's the people that uh, I'm going to dinner with tonight, so. Anyway, I got a Ninja Foodie Grill, which is amazing. It, it cooks all the way up to 550 degrees and uh, you ought to check them out on the uh, web they're dynamite uh, anyway 
that's my apartment that I live in. House, apartment, whatever you would call it. Now, I need to work on my video. <coughs> and uh, got my diet bought Dr. Pepper. And I'm ready to go to work on it. So that'll be it for today. Um, I was going to do more, but I've got to get ready for dinner. I've got... Uh, We've been trying to get to the uh, restaurant down south here, but uh, there's been some problems each day that we've tried, and uh, so today we actually are going, and uh, we're going to the Blue Moon Saloon, which has some of the best food ever. Anyway, good night, everybody, and I'll see you on Monday. Give me a thumbs up and share my video, and then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time